We're starting off with chilling new details that have emerged about the conduct of the Navy SEAL who was accused of war crimes. Confidential footage obtained by the New York Times shows members of SEAL Team 7 being interviewed about the accusations against their platoon leader, Special Operations Chief Edward Gallagher. He faced nearly a dozen charges, including allegedly murdering a teen member of ISIS. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin has been covering the case. I think he just wants to kill anybody he can. Dark testimony from members of SEAL Team 7 paint a chilling picture of violence by their platoon chief. Did he say anything when he did this, or did he just literally pull out a knife and just start stabbing him? He just pulled out a knife and started stabbing him. The evidence obtained by the New York Times was part of a war crimes investigation into Edward Gallagher, a decorated Navy SEAL who was accused of fatally stabbing a young ISIS prisoner. It includes never-before-seen body cam footage in which you see Gallagher over the limp ISIS fighter's body before the camera is switched off. Did you interpret him as a threat at any point when Gallagher stabbed? I did not. No. Okay. Is there any doubt in your mind that these are war crimes? No. Corey Scott, whose testimony in court was crucial to Gallagher's acquittal, was also interviewed. Did he do anything that could be interpreted as lunging, tacking Eddie in any way that would justify it. But on the stand and after being given full immunity, Scott took the fall for the boy's death. They tried to frame me as a, uh, a criminal from the get-go. In July, Gallagher was demoted after a military jury convicted him of posing for a photo with the ISIS fighter's corpse. A Navy board also considered stripping Gallagher of his trident pin, symbol of his status as an elite Navy SEAL. They wanted to take his pin away, and I said, no, you're not going to take it away. Last month, President Trump intervened and restored Gallagher's rank. These are tough people, and... Uh... We're going to protect our war fighters. A move that angered many in the Navy, including former Navy Secretary Richard Spencer, who was ousted after requesting the president not get involved in Gallagher's case. I don't think he really understands the full definition of a war fighter. A war fighter is a profession of arms, and a profession of arms has standards that they have to be held to and they hold themselves to. Gallagher, who just this week met with President Trump at his Mar-a-Lago resort, has repeatedly expressed his gratitude. I don't know how many times I thank the president. He keeps, you know, stepping in and doing the right thing. And David Martin joins us now from the Pentagon. David, we just heard in your piece some pretty searing testimony from those platoon members. The New York Times also, in their reporting, said that Gallagher was referred to as toxic and evil. So how is Eddie Gallagher responding to these videos? Well, his attorney is saying that these video statements were uh, unsworn statements and were not subjected to cross-examination by Gallagher's defense team. And that when this evidence was taken into the courtroom, people were sworn in and put on the stand, uh, Gallagher was acquitted of the most serious of these charges here, uh, specifically the, uh, uh, the murder of a captured ISIS fighter. And the reason he was acquitted is that one of the SEALs in that, in those videos was granted immunity and when he got on the stand he completely uh, reversed his story and said it was he, not Gallagher, who had uh, killed the ISIS fighter by placing his thumb over the, uh, the tracheotomy that had been put in the, uh, the ISIS fighter's neck to keep him breathing. You know, I find this really interesting because this is really the, the first time outside of the courtroom, though, that we're hearing directly from members of the Alpha Platoon. So I just want to uh, understand how unique it is. Is this unusual for Navy SEALs to speak so critically about a member of their team, let alone their very own commander? Well, this is a breaking of the code of silence. I mean, one of the uh, uh, criticisms of SEAL teams is that uh, what happens in the team stays in the teams. Uh, but in this case, all that dissension uh, broke out and these, these six uh, members of his team uh, offered this testimony against him. Now, he says, uh, Gallagher says, that this was because uh, he was being too tough on them, too tough a disciplinarian. And they were uh, trying anything they could to get him sent home so they wouldn't have to uh, serve the rest of their tour under him. Either way, it sounds like a, uh, a dysfunctional 
SEAL TEAM. And, and these are the elite warriors that, that we send on these uh, high-risk missions. And, and uh, it's the first time I can remember that uh, you have uh, SEALs uh, speaking up and basically giving up uh, one of their own, and not just one of their own, the senior enlisted guy in the platoon who, who is the uh, effective leader of a platoon. Yeah, well, certainly some interesting and disturbing details coming from this New York Times report. David Martin, thank you very much. Sure thing.